What's up guys, welcome back to our channel, it's Z and Abs, as Abs Project. Abs, do you want to tell them what we're doing today? Because we've got yes. a nice lovely E30 M3, or is it an, or is it not? Is it an M3 or is it not? Is it it looks like it, look at that. It's got the front wings with the rear fenders. Don't know where the front bumper is. Oh look, it's even got the M3 badge. It must be an M3. So go on. Oh and yeah, all right. What gives away is a convertible. Yeah, so what, the rock convertible M3, you think? Yeah, yeah, all right. And yeah. it's a right hand drive. Yeah, that definitely gives it away. No, nah, but this is a 3 to 5 M Sport. Uh, the previous one we bought it from. Um, he had a nice, con well, a P had a nice condition for a few years, and here they left parked up. We bought it from, we left it parked up. Long story short, this is a 3 to 5 M Sport. Uh, it's got full M3 original kit on it. It's all metal kit, including the front and front bumpers. A full exhaust system done. The engine itself is original. The engine hasn't been messed around with. The car itself, we've checked from underneath, it's, it's okay, solid. The car is rusted from the rear arches, the side sills. Um, and the rear panel, the light panel, which is rusted. So, what plan is we're going to strip this car. We really start stripping. We're taking the front and back bumper off. We're going to take the front wings off. We're going to cut the rear quarters out. Somebody must be thinking, "Why are you going mad for cutting the rear quarters?" What we want to do is cut the rear quarters and see what's how bad it's damaged from the inside, how rusty it is. Because it's a rust bucket. Rust no, bucket. No, it's not a rust bucket. Yeah, it's rusty, but not rust bucket yet. And then, uh, first time we are going to attempt to do welding ourselves. We've never done welding. We've never touched welding. We've never done it. So uh, first attempt this. So this car we're going to be working very slowly on. So it'll be one of the slowest projects we're going to be doing. So it's not like a committed project. It's not no, every day no. thing. It's so one and where we can do it. Maybe in once a month. Maybe th you know once three months. Whenever we get time, honestly, to be honest, we're going to do. But in between, obviously, we're going to do other, we're doing other projects. So this will be like whenever we get time. At the moment, the weather's not the best. We're going to be getting rain a lot of the time. So we've got a few days of sunshine or well, dry days, shall we say? Yeah. So we are working on like stuff like we're going to start a 300 ZX project. We've just finished the Skyline project off. So yeah, this is going to be in between other projects. So this, this is one of the, a long, long-winded project. It is, yeah. But it depends on how bad it is. So like I said, today we're going to start start moving parts, chopping parts off, and see what we get and see how bad it is. And then, uh, yeah, just attempt to do the welding the first time ourselves. See how we, how we do on this. Let's go on. Let's talk a bit about the engine. Let's pop the bonnet. Pop the hood. Oh yeah, and it's got um, five lug conversion. What is it? What's, what's it got? What's it got? E36. This is compact uh, five light conversion and all With, the way around. Yeah, all the way around front and back. So obviously we need to get, uh, see this front wheel, it sits too far back. So we need to get, yeah. a, what is it called, a caster correction. Caster correction. So, so it's pulls it a bit. Pulls it and then it pushes the wheel forward a bit. It lines up nicely. It lines up and so we turn it doesn't hit into the car. So look at that rust on the wing, bloody hell. All the way going, all the way to the back. So what's this, a 3 to 5, 5 2.5 top, 2.7 bottom they call it, whatever? Something like that, yeah, so like obviously you see stuff here, like this is surface rust, not badly rusted yet. It is a surface rust, it's just sunning down, that surface rust bit bubbling there, um, so some rust over here. And if you go just under the fuses, what we see is the water is in it, so that's... This car's been parked up for like, what, 15 years or something, hasn't yeah, it? It's something stupid like that, the guy had, I mean, and the best part... It was someone's pride and joy back in the days, but... It was, it was, um, um, well, between, uh, in a few other videos... I remember we... making a, uh, it was a short uh, video on this, Straight will on. it start or not? And we finally got it running after, well, don't know how many attempts we tried, but yeah. to be honest, if you put fuel in it, put a new battery in there, and it started up straight away, didn't it? Yeah, so, um, we've, the good thing about this is we've got extensive paperwork, it's a one owner. We've got full service history since we uh, since the guy had it. Let's do a little walk around the back. There's a new exhaust on there. Paintwork, paintwork yeah. is uh, beautiful. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Season. Would you call that a Zab's touch there? <laughs> it's a nature's touch. It's all crumbling, look at that. What oh, days. And honestly, if you stand, if you, if you had a smell in this video, oh my God, it smells of fish inside this. So open the bonnet again. I just want to see, where does it say normally, oh, on the other side I think is, oh no there it is, so if we get close to this, oh, I can't get to it, but yeah 2.5 top and 2.7 bottom, and we see, yeah, 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 it's all there, I mean, what's the future plan, once we get it welding, are we going to take this uh, engine out and get it fully rebuilt? No, the engine doesn't need rebuild, the engine's fine, all it needs is the up. Yeah, water pump is obviously, it needs changing, the water pump leaks. <laughs> So the plan is, uh, when we start welding, take the engine out, just get the water pump to sort out first, then take the whole engine out, give it a good clean. See, like the brake surface is just rusted away, so just try to clean the bottom. Yeah, that's solid, that's solid. So stuff like that, see that, just clean everything up, see how bad they are. Oof, that's still solid though. Yeah, even if you look at the brakes over across over there, see that's just from surface, right? just clean everything up, make it look presentable. Yeah. But like I said, this is a long-winded project, we're not, 
I'm not really too fussed about yeah, it. Yeah, so uh, keep an eye on it, watch the space, but I mean, uh, don't yeah. hold against it that, you know, we're not bringing much of this out or we're not doing much to it because it'll be when we can and how, we, you know, where we can. Over here as well? Yeah, it's mad. Uh, Ooh, the the roof was perfectly fine. Yeah, we got um, cats and gremlins. Foxes. Cats and foxes uh, at night time just jump on it, just be ripping it apart. I mean, this was dry straw, wasn't it, though? So you haven't got obviously you water inside the cockpit, anything. That looks all right, nice and clean. Well, not clean, but not many cracks on it. Which is quite rare because these parked up will have a lot of cracks on them. Got a lot of spears, or is it a uh, storage unit? Spears, if it's a car. See if we can get the bonnet open. Sorry, see if we can get the boot open. Oh, get the keys. And it's the uh, pre facelift. It's not the facelift, which is another desirable option there. There you go, guys. That's a wrap up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the little walk around of this lovely BMW E30 M3 rep. Stay safe, stay blessed. We'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.